Hey everyone, how's it going? It's your boy here, Benson Hedges, platform artist, educator, and master barber from Babyless Pro. Today, we're checking out the all new Low Pro FX Clipper and Trimmer. Now, the purpose of this video is to show you what to do when you take the clippers out of the box. How do you maintenance it? How do you zero gap it? And the details of what the zero gap actually is. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Low Pro FX Clipper and Trimmer and here are some of the haircuts that I did with them. Check them out. Switch it up. All right, let's take a look at what the Low Pros has to offer. Let's look at some of the similarities first. Looking at the clipper and the trimmer, right off the bat, we can see that both have a low profile housing for better visibility and ergonomics. They both have a high performance brushless motor running at 6,800 RPMs. They both have over a two hour runtime. And the best part guys, is that both blades are zero gap adjustable. And we're gonna dive into all of that in a second. But let's look at some of the differences first. Starting with the clipper, we can see that the low pro clipper comes with a graphite wedge blade and it also has a five position metal taper arm control. This happens to be my favorite feature of the whole clipper simply because it keeps me organized and neat when I'm creating my blends. Now I've used free levers on clippers in the past and let me tell you it was always a guessing game on where I left off last. So having these indentations in my clipper really give me that confidence when I'm detailing my blends. Moving over to the low pro trimmers, you can see that it comes with a deep tooth DLC blade that is 360 exposed. Pairing a blade set up like this with such an ergonomic housing really makes this trimmer extremely versatile. And guys, you did hear me right. This trimmer runs at 6,800 RPMs as well, meaning that it has the same power as your clipper. Having this type of power and technology in your trimmer make it effortless when you're creating your zero lines, removing that bulk, getting into those tight mustache areas and creating even designs. This is the go-to tool for everything you need. After you've taken your clippers or your trimmers out the box, you'll notice that your tools come with various items that are absolutely crucial for the maintenance and the adjustment of your tool. Of course, you will have your charger and your trimmer will come with a small screwdriver and both clippers and trimmers will come with their own blade oil, cleaning brush and screwdriver. So when we're maintaining our our tool we always want to take off the blade when we're zero gapping our tool we don't need to take it off we just got to loosen it but for the purpose of this tutorial i am going to use our screwdriver that comes with our clipper and i'm just going to take off those screws take off all visible debris all the dust all the hair and once you've taken off as much as you can then you can go ahead and put the blade back on slowly tighten each screw a little bit at a time because what's going to happen is if you just tighten one screw all the way tight it's going to crank the blade and it will force it to be crooked you want to pull it up a little bit so there's a little bit more space if you have a gentle hand you can pull it down and have it gapped a little bit more so that it's closer cutting the point of this is to adjust the blade to your cutting style The purpose of zero gapping is to make the tool complement your liner a little bit more so that you can continue where the line was started and you can pick up where it left off. The second thing that I want to do is I want to take my clipper oil and I'm going to turn on the machine. When the clipper is on, I'm going to put three drops of oil. One, two, three. 
two in the corners, one in the middle. After I do that, I'm gonna let the clipper run, open the lever, close the lever. This is gonna help mix the oil in between the crevices and the teeth of the blade. Your tool, your clipper, your low pro is ready to be used right after it is fully charged. Guys, remember to always fully charge your brand new clipper before you use it. I'm gonna start with the zero gapping first on the trimmer uh, because we do not have to loosen the screws at the back in order to do so. We only have to loosen the screws in the front. So with the screwdriver provided, I'm only gonna loosen a little bit, only enough for me to wiggle out my blade. As you can see here, now my blade is able to move. And I like to use the cushion of my fingers. It comes with a tool as well for your zero gapping, but I prefer to use the cushion of my fingers to kind of give me that little mini gap because the cushion of my fingers is gonna mimic how um, my skin or somebody's skin is gonna react when it pushes into them with the liner. To tighten it back, I'm gonna slowly tighten one side and then jump to the other side. And the next thing I'm gonna do now is the same thing I did on my clipper, it was I take my clipper oil and I put one, two, three drops, let it run so that the blade can so the oil can mix through the blades and the teeth. And once you're done that, your trimmer is good to go right after you put it into the charge. So the only time that you would actually have to take off your blade on your trimmer, on your low pro trimmer, is to maintenance it and to remove the hair from underneath and to keep it running smooth and cool. So to do so, I'm actually gonna just remove and take off the screws at the back. Once you've removed all the debris, the hair, the dust out of your machine, then you can go and put your blade back on one of the main reasons why people have a hard time taking out zero lines in their fade, for example, is because their clipper